Alright guys, welcome to my channel. Today we'll be taking apart a Taurus Model 80. The first thing you always want to do with a gun is make sure it's unloaded. I'll give you guys a quick look and then we'll make sure that there's uh, no bullets in the gun. Now this is a six shot. It's a four inch barrel. This has the factory blowing on it. I'm under the impression this is a clone of the Smith & Wesson Model 10. I've had it for about a year. I've shot a couple hundred bullets through it. I haven't had any problems except for the hammer nose breaking. That is a common problem. I would not dry fire this gun. Uh, now if you want to take it apart, you got to remove these screws right here on the side plate. And this gun does fire single action and double action. I found the double action to have about an 8 pound trigger. And the single action about 4 pounds. There's a hardwood grips. Has a uh, Taurus medallion on the side. It's fixed sights. Now my records have these guns made from sometime between 1971 to 2001. Mine weighs almost two pounds. And it is a five screw model. And there's a screw in front of the trigger guard. Now the screw in front of the trigger guard does have a spring under it. You have to be very careful when you remove it. You do not lose the spring. It'll be very hard to replace that spring. Now once you have that spring out, the cylinder will slide out. Put it somewhere safe. Now, I'll give you guys a quick look at the gun. Alright, now you can pop off these grips. I'll expose the spring. Now that spring keeps the hammer under tension. I wouldn't remove it. Unless you're going to repair the hammer or do some other work to it. Now you can adjust it. That's what this screw right here will do for you. You'll see it, it moves. Shortens the spring and lengthens it. Uh, you notice there's one screw hidden. Once we remove it, we'll be able to take off the whole side plate. Alright, now you're going to give it a couple soft wax. Not too hard. There you go. Now you see how that spring has everything under tension. And when the cylinder's out, you can't drop the hammer back. Unless you pull the latch. And that's really all there is to it. That's the whole insides. Now you're going to want to put this plate back on. You have to be really careful with it. You don't want to force it. You don't want to bend it. If you bend it, It'll look ridiculous. Your gun will not not look normal anymore. Alright, once you got that plate back in, you can put in the screws. After you put in the cylinder. Should snap right back in. And you just have a couple screws. You want to screw them in, not too tight, just snug. And we could put on our grips. Just one screw for the grips, the long screw. 
And really, once you have that screwed in, uh, gun's good to go. You want to then check, make sure everything's functioning. The cylinder spins, the hammer. And that's really all there is to it. Now, this gun was uh, in a few different movies and TV shows. Season 2, Episode 10 of The Walking Dead. Also, uh, the Angelina Jolie movie, Taking Lives. Uh, 1990, Kevin Costner movie called Revenge. And a 1997, Dennis Quaid and Danny Glover movie called Switchback. So, uh, it's uh, pretty popular in Brazil. But uh, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll take it apart again. I'll talk more about it. And this is the Taurus Model 80.